In the coming weeks, drone enthusiasts have a lot to look forward to. If you're eyeing the Hover Air X1 Pro or Hover Air X1 Pro Max, get ready for some competition. DJI is about to drop something new, the DJI Neo, an entry-level drone that's already turning heads. Last week, we got a glimpse of all the specs, which I'll be covering again at the end of this video, so stick around. And just when we thought we'd seen it all, Igor Bogdanov, who's known for his leaks, shared four promo images that highlight the various ways you can control this drone. The DJI Neo is packed with features that make it easy to fly, whether you're a beginner or looking to take things up a notch. For starters, there are control buttons on the drone itself, but that's just the beginning. You can also control it using voice commands, as one of the leaked promo images shows. Imagine guiding this 4K-capable camera drone around with just your voice. That's next-level convenience. The drone also offers manual control through the DJI app, where you can fine-tune its position with just a few taps. For those looking for a more traditional experience, the DJI Neo can be paired with the DJI RCN3 controller, which uses the O4 protocol. This setup, combined with a smartphone or tablet for live streaming, offers more advanced control and the ability to capture higher quality footage, much like the DJI Mini series. And if you're into FPV flying, the DJI Neo doesn't disappoint. With the DJI RC Motion 3 controller and Goggles 3, you can fully immerse yourself in your flight adventures. All right, let's dive into the specs. It features a half-inch image sensor paired with a 117.6-degree field of view lens. With a 14mm format equivalent and an f2.8 aperture, this drone captures stunning wide-angle shots. The ISO range spans from 100 to 6400, giving you the flexibility to shoot in various lighting conditions, whether you're on auto or manual mode. The shutter speed is impressive, ranging from 1 8,000th of a second to 1 30th of a second for videos, and from 1 8,000th of a second to 1 10th of a second for photos. This drone allows you to capture 12 megapixel stills, with a maximum image size of 4,000 by 3,000 in a 4 to 3 aspect ratio, or 4,000 by 2,256 in 16 to 9. Whether you prefer single or time shots, this drone's got you covered. When it comes to video, this drone delivers 4K resolution at 30fps without EIS and up to 1080p at 60fps with EIS. All your footage is saved in MP4 format, ensuring compatibility and ease of editing. With a maximum video bitrate of 75 megabits per second and the O4 video transmission system, ensuring smooth live view quality up to 1080p at 30fps with the DJI RCN3 remote, and up to 1080p at 60fps when using DJI Goggles 3 paired with DJI RC Motion 3 or DJI FPV Remote Control 3. The drone operates across multiple frequency bands, including 2.4GHz, 5.1GHz and 5.8GHz, with the specific operating frequency varying by region. The transmitter power is well within regulatory limits, ensuring strong communication even at the maximum transmission distance. Speaking of distance, this drone can reach up to 10 km under FCC regulations in an unobstructed environment, with a maximum of 6 km under CE, SRRC and MIC standards. Keep in mind though, that actual transmission distance can vary based on interference levels, from 1.5 to 3 km in a cityscape with strong interference, up to 6 to 10 km in low interference environments like suburbs or seaside areas. Let's move on to flight performance. This drone has a takeoff weight of approximately 135 grams and dimensions of 130 by 157 by 48.5 mm. It can climb at a maximum rate of 3 meters per second in sports mode, 2 in normal mode, and 0.5 meters per second in cinema mode. The descent speed mirrors this, with a maximum of 2 meters per second in both sports and normal modes, and 0.5 meters per second in cinema mode. The drone can reach a horizontal speed of up to 16 meters per second in manual mode, 8 meters per second in sports mode, and 6 meters per second in normal mode. Its maximum takeoff altitude, under optimal conditions, is measured at 120 meters when using sports mode at 2,000 meters above sea level, with a maximum flight time of approximately 18 minutes 
or 17 minutes, with propeller guards, this drone is designed for efficiency. Each battery allows for at least 20 palm takeoffs and landings for consecutive shots. However, flight time can vary depending on conditions, such as wind and battery usage. The drone can fly forward at 2 meters per second in a windless environment at 20 meters above sea level, with the camera set to 1080p at 30 fps and video mode off. With GLONASS, GPS, Galileo and Beidou on board, you can navigate with precision and the hover accuracy range is outstanding, with vertical accuracy up to plus or minus 0.1 meters and horizontal accuracy up to plus or minus 1.5 meters. And it comes with 22 gigs of internal storage, which to be frank, isn't enough if you record 4K videos. This packaging reveals a bunch of juicy details, including AI subject tracking, 4K ultra-stabilized video, and full coverage propeller guards. These features are impressive, especially for a drone that's shaping up to be incredibly lightweight, clocking in at only 135 grams. The leak also gives us a look at the Flymore combo bundle for the Neo. This package includes three batteries, a charging hub, and some spare props. All for around $329 probably. That price would likely convert to about 320 pounds in the UK or AU dollar 515 in Australia. If you're looking for something more budget friendly, there's probably a base model without the extra accessories. Now, onto the standout features. The DJI Neo promises a slew of exciting capabilities. Palm takeoff and landing for easy deployment, AI subject tracking to keep your shots focused on your subject, quick shots and multiple control options to suit different user preferences. And of course, it boasts 4K ultra-stabilized video, ensuring your footage is crisp and smooth. The full coverage propeller guards add an extra layer of safety, making it ideal for beginners and for indoor flying. Well, that is all. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. Got any questions or thoughts? Drop them in the comments below. See you in the next video.